Welcome everyone to Unscripted Coding. Today we're going to talk about RoboDev, which is Atlassian's answer to Claude Code. Now today I'm going to answer three key questions. First of all, what is RoboDev? Second, how do we install it, get it running on a Windows computer? And number three, I'm going to go do a very, very simple light demo. We're not going to build any complex apps. I just want to run something to show you how to engage with the command line interface. Now, the first question is, what is, what is it? What is RoboDev? And I said it is Atlassian's answer to Anthropic's Claude Code because Claude Code is uh, getting relatively well known and it's been very well received. Now, if you haven't heard of it, it is a command line interface, but it is an interface for an AI coding agent. That means that when you boot up Claude Code or RoboDev, you'll engage with it through a terminal or a PowerShell or Shell app in general. And what you can do is provide it instructions in plain English. And as an agent, it's going to take more time. It's going to take your instructions. It's going to parse it through, run it through a dozen prompts, start acting, start looking at your code base, interacting with it, thinking and, and re-engaging with itself and different tools. The agent part of this is that you only need to provide one set of instructions and moving forward, it's going to take the 10, 20, 30 minutes to try and complete your task as best as possible. Now, when it works, it feels like magic, but most of the time it is not perfect. It is not flawless. So it works really well is what I want to say. And Claude Code uh, being command line, being purely for development is uh, has created an interesting tool that is accessible for developers who are used to this, but not so much for others. Uh, RoboDev basically offering all the same things, but it isn't being offered by Anthropic. It is um, being offered by Atlassian, who is behind Jira, Bitbucket, Confluence. None of these are LLMs, but all of these are very important developer tools. So what that means is I think in the future, it might be a bit more agnostic to different LLMs. Okay, so we are good on what is RoboDev. You'll get to see it a little bit more in action at the very end, but let's answer the next question. How do we get it running? Now, to get RoboDev running, you're going to want to go to the blog post, at least for now. I couldn't find any dedicated page for it, but if you go to the announcement post, you click download RoboDev CLI here. When you click it, you're going to get to this community page, which is great. I'll leave a link to it uh, within the description as well below. But for now, what you want to do is take a look and you're going to see some very, very simple instructions. Of course, your first step is to sign up for an Atlassian account if you haven't already. When you click it, you're going to be brought into this page. Now you want to sign in or get a free account, but down here you want to go uh, scroll down to jump in now with the RoboDev CLI. From there, you're going to be able to enable RoboDev and you're going to get a separate set of instructions that uh, look exactly the same as these ones. And so I'm just going to follow it right here. Um, I am on a Windows machine, so I'm going to click Windows. And from there, uh, I am going to go into, um, oh, my mistake. I booted up Command Prompt, but of course we want Windows PowerShell. And from there, I would like the x86 64 version. So I paste, and it's going to start downloading. Now you're going to see uh, the next instructions to um, actually run the Atlassian CLI, the command line interface. And from there, you're going to be able to interact with RoboDev. Now, while we're waiting for it to download and, and get everything, the other thing you're going to need to do is go into your Atlassian profile. And from there, you're going to be able to create 
a an API key. And so you'll see I did a fresh one uh, just before this um, this video, and uh, we're ready to go. Of course, I'm keeping it secret for now, um, and you get to copy and paste your API key. Skipping a little bit forward in time, you'll see that we are ready to go. The uh, download bar is done, so we're going to copy this command here to run the CLI interface. Um, and you can see that it is running just fine. Uh, works seamlessly with Atlassian from the command line. And so we're going to go and run this command now. And what that's going to do is have us sign in to Atlassian. Oh, um, so ACLI is not recognized, um, was not found. So I believe we're going to use a combination of the two here. So um, let me just type this out right here, have this as reference, dot backslash CLI dot exe, and then we want ro robo dev auth login. So a combination of the two commands, and we're going to be able to uh, combine the two. So first of all, I need to enter my email. Um, I'm going to remove this off screen while I enter my email. And it is asking me for my uh, API key afterwards. So uh, also doing this off screen. And from there, we have authentication successful. So our next role is we're going to go and once again, dot backslash acli.exe. We're going to go robodev run. And what we're going to see is uh, the command line interface once it is ready. Here we go, RoboDev. This looks awfully similar to the Cloud Code kind of look. Uh, very jarring large words. And I can go um, from, from uh, explain this repo or add unit tests. What I want to do is um, first see the available commands. And what I want to do is navigate to one of my uh, one random directory on my computer. So uh, the available commands, there's different sessions. We can clear, we can prune, which is, uh, again, very similar to Cloud Code. Uh, instructions, uh, memory, we could add a note, remove a note, feedback, usage. Ah, very good. We could see the usage and we could do exit. OK. Um, I'm going to pause right here first. So to navigate folders, I'm hoping that we could just CD or change directories and see if that works. And I don't think it does. Oh, here we go. So now uh, it has gone to my desktop into RoboCode, and it can see these folders. Very good. Um, we have some, uh, we have three files. Uh, this is the test one. Now, what I want to do is interact with it and see if it can figure out what it is. And it's already parsing through. I can see you have a game theory simulator project that implements a prisoner's dilemma sim simulation. That is exactly what it is. We did this uh, many, many, many videos ago, but I wanted something very simple for uh, RoboDev to figure out. Um, here, it's looking at the code. You have a sophisticated game theory simulator that implements prisoner's dilemma with multiple strategy, blah, blah, blah. Very kind of it to call it a well-designed project. I don't know if that's true, but uh, it gives us a few different options here. What I wanted to say quickly here is... Um, the really, really important reason why I'm looking at RoboDev um, over Cloud Code is because while it's in beta, you are getting 20 million tokens for free every single day. That is a lot of value, a lot of money. 
uh, saved for hobbyists like me. Uh, Cloud Code is really great, but every time I engaged with it, it was five to ten dollars. Every time I used it for anything, um, it, it costed five to ten dollars. Now, uh, most people are purchasing Claude, um, their their monthly package at twenty to a hundred dollars. But as a hobbyist developer that's doing this, you know, one or two days a week, it doesn't make sense for me to do so. And so uh, I'm hoping that RoboDev is just as good. But for now, uh, I wanted to just see um, what it does when I say, can you optimize the performance? And we're going to see what happens. And you can see each time, this is purely in plain English, um, and it's going to run. And we're just going to wait. Okay, um, let's take a look at this here now. So I closed off uh, the screen for about six minutes, um, and we left off here. You can see this is exactly how agentic AI tools work. If you wanted to build your own, um, you're going to need to create a few different tools here. They went find and replace code. Um, find and replace code. They had uh, create files, delete files. Sorry, where is the delete? Delete file, create file. And it did a whole bunch of different things. Um, interacting with a number of different files, and it even summarized it for me. So there is uh, more animation controls, more chart updates, uh, rendering strategy, a bunch of different things. Um, and according to it, the uh, smaller simulations will be two to five times faster, and for large simulations, 50 to 100 times faster. So um, I want to... Uh, see if can you boot up the page for me? Just something very simple. Um, hopefully, it can run some command line interfaces to uh, boot this up. And I will allow it to run something on my computer. And so let's make sure that it's actually working. If we run the simulation, look at that. Um, let's go with random. There we go. Some deviation. Ah, player, player B. Let's, let's both be random and let's bump it up to 30 rounds. And you'll see that there is a big deviation now. And we're simulating how it goes. So it, it definitely feels faster than uh, what I remember it, and it is functional. So I have no problems with the work it's done, and what's really handy is it shows you how much it's used. Uh, in this particular uh, session, it used this request, it used 60,000 uh, tokens, but in total, uh, we've used 846,000 tokens for today's 20 million. So it's probably pretty quick to get to 20 million, and that's really why uh, Claude Code is so expensive. Now, before I close out, one last thing I wanted to mention is Claude Code, you could get it running on Windows. We did a previous video on it, but it's annoying. You needed the Linux, uh, it, it, it's supposed to be run on Linux, so you need the Linux sandbox in Windows, WSL, to uh, actually run it, whereas you can see RoboDev was uh, pretty, um, it, it's ready for Windows, ready to go. Anyways, uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing around with this because uh, I've largely avoided cloud code because it just costed too much, but I keep hearing great things about it. Seemingly, RoboDev is using Claude as well, and it seemed to work even for this simple project. So I will report back uh, in the comments. If you have any experience with it, if you have any comments, please do share below. And if not, um, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and next week we'll do another quick project. Bye!